welcome to my channel learn more maths uh, my name is varak kumar uh, today we are going to uh, draw the graph of a quadratic polynomial very very important for four marks problem uh, definitely you can get a problem in the examination from this area so very very important uh, uh, see here uh, what he has given what he is asking to find us uh, draw the graphs of given polynomials and find the zeros uh, justify your uh, justify the answers uh, so here uh, uh, second one this is a uh, p of x is equal to x square minus 6x plus 9 so there are uh, there are totally five bits in the third problem uh, from 3.2 x size so here uh, uh, the given sec uh, this is second bit p of x is equal to x square minus 6x plus 9 so see here how can we draw the graph of the given polynomial so first to draw the any graph we require some ordered pairs we have to find the ordered pairs so here he has given p of x so let it is y is equal to x square minus 6x plus 9 let it is y is equal to x square minus 6x plus 9 by taking some x values we have to find the corresponding y values so, so now we have to write x and y as a ordered pair so just we have to find less at least uh, uh, five six ordered pairs uh, for the polynomial so see here how can we draw the graph so the given polynomial is x square minus 6x plus 9 So it is a p of x is equal to x square minus 6x plus 9. So let it is y is equal to y is equal to x square minus 6x plus 9. So let it is as y is equal to x square minus 6x plus 9. So now by taking the x values we have to find the corresponding y values. So by writing x and y bracket we can get the ordered pairs. So see here first for that to find the x values so see here we have to take up to find the y values we have to take the x values. So see here let it is x. So we have to take x values here minus 2 minus 1. 0 1 2 3 and 4 so take these x values so for these x values you have to find y values by substituting y is equal to x square minus 6x plus 9 so here uh, uh, what is there in the given quadratic polynomial you have to observe so first uh, x square is there these are the x values uh, so now I am writing x square. So x square after what is there? x square minus 6x is there. So now I am writing 6x. 6x. So next x square minus 6x. So I am writing x square minus 6x. So next uh, x square minus 6x plus 9. It is nothing but y. So that is uh, y. It is y that is y is equal to x square minus 6x plus 9 so in the end we have to write the ordered pair x comma y so like this we have to find uh, this is the table of ordered pairs very very important uh, uh, see here how can we find the ordered pairs uh, so these are the x values we have to take uh, so if x is equal to minus 2 then x square is minus 2 whole square directly I am writing it is plus 4 minus 2 whole square is plus 4 if x is equal to minus 1 x square is minus 1 whole square is again uh, plus 1 if x equal to 0 x square is also 0 if x equal to 1 x square is 1 square is 1 only if x is equal to 2 x square is 2 square is 4 if x is equal to 3 x square is 3 square is 9 if x is equal to 4 x square is 4 square that is 16 so just see here uh, so here these are the x values we have taken 
so for the corresponding x values uh, we have found x square why there is x square minus 6x plus 9 to find the y value so uh, we have to find x square just we have to square all the x values we can get the x square value so minus 2 whole square is 4 minus 1 whole square is 1 0 square is 0 1 square is 1 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 4 square is 16 this is x square next we have 6x so just we have to multiply the x values by 6 so we can get 6x so here 6 into minus 2 that is minus 12 so 6 into minus 1 minus 6 6 into 0 0 6 into 1 6 6 into 2 12 6 into 3 18 6 into 4 24 so these are the 6x values so we have x square minus 6x so we have to subtract 6x values from x square so that is x square minus 6x so i have to subtract 6x values from the x square that is here x square minus 6x 4 minus of minus 12 we can get 4 plus 12 uh, that is directly i am writing 16 okay so next 1 minus of minus 6 it is 1 plus 6 that is 7 so 0 minus 0 again we can get 0 only so 1 minus 6 1 minus 6 is minus 5 so 4 minus 12 4 minus 12 is minus 8 so 9 minus 18 it is minus 9 16 minus 24 it is uh, minus uh, 8 16 minus 24 is minus 8 so these are all x square minus 6x values so next what is there x square minus 6x plus 9 so we have to add 9 to all the values of x square minus 6x so here 16 plus 9 is 25 so next 7 plus 9 is 16 so next 0 plus 9 is 9 so minus 5 plus 9 is how much plus 4 so minus 8 plus 9 is plus 1 so minus 9 plus 9 is 0 again minus 8 plus 9 is 1 here so next x comma y we have to write x and y is a ordered pair minus 2 comma 25 it is minus two, sorry minus 2 comma 25 minus 2 comma 25 so minus 1 comma 16 minus 1 comma 16 0 comma 9 0 comma 9 so next 1 comma 4 1 comma 4 2 comma 1 2 comma 1 3 comma 0 next 4 comma 1 4 comma 1 so these are the ordered pairs of the given quadratic polynomial x square minus 6x plus 9. Now we have to plot these ordered pairs on the graph sheet. So we can get a curve. From the curve we have to observe where the curve is intersecting the x-axis. From the point of intersection we can find the zeros. So now we have to plot these ordered pairs on the graph sheet. now we have to plot the points on the graph uh, so before to plot the points on the graph uh, we have to uh, select the scale so here uh, an x-axis 1 centimeter equal to 1 unit but on the y-axis 1 centimeter equal to uh, 5 units uh, that is the scale so our first point is minus 2 comma 28 yes plot minus 2 comma 28 uh, x is minus 2 y is 25 sorry 25 not 28 next second one minus 1 comma 16 so x is minus 1 y is 16 so next uh, 0 comma 9 
x coordinate is 0 y coordinate is 9 uh, next uh, 1 comma 4 x value is 1 and y value is 4 two lines before 5 so that is 4 1 comma 4 so next to 2 comma 1 x value is 2 and y value is 1 yes it is a 2 comma 1 so next 3 comma 0 so x value is 3 y value is 0 so it lies on the x axis so next 4 comma 1 x is 4 y is 1 so now I have plotted all the points on the graph sheet. Now we have to draw a smooth curve by passing through all the points. See here how can we draw. Yes, draw a smooth curve by passing through all the points. No, I have. So now I am remo removing the labels A, B, C, D. So these are. Uh, so I am removing all the labels. Uh, yes, G. So now we have to draw a curve passing through all the points. Yes, I have drawn a curve passing through all the points. Uh, now it is a parabola. The name of the curve is a parabola. So now uh, we have to uh, find the zeros of the given polynomial by observing where the parabola is intersecting the x-axis. So see here I have written the point of intersection of parabola and the x axis is 3 comma 0. So therefore we can write from the graph the parabola is intersecting the x axis at the point 3 comma 0. Therefore the zeros of p of x is equal to 3 comma 3. It has a 3 e it has two equal zeros so they are 3 comma 3 so that's all student uh, this is a, a second bit from third problem so in the next class uh, we will do third bit so thanks for watching